Hello, I'm Liz Weir, storyteller in residence with the Armstrong Storytelling Trust. We've been working with the Northern Ireland Museums Council on a project called Museums Tell Stories. And I want to tell you a story based on school days long ago. One of our storytellers was working with the Newry and Morn Museum in Bagnalls Castle. And I thought this story might be appropriate to think back on how school days used to be. Even in my day, which was a while ago now. But I want you to picture a one-room schoolhouse with a master who's a very strict man. He had a cane. If you didn't get your spellings right, Mrs. D, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, F, I, Mrs. C, Mrs. U, Mrs. L, T, Y, you'd get a slap right across your hand. But the man I'm going to tell you about had a kind heart. Strict, but kind. And it was coming up to the holidays and he looked at the boys and girls and he said, I'm going to set your competition. Well, he sat up. He said, there's a prize. And out from under his desk, he brought a beautiful silver angel, a fancy decoration, the like of which none of those children would have in their houses. They lived at a time with paper chains that they'd stick together. He said, what you have to do is go out and everybody bring me back something small and something shiny from nature. Off you go now. Well, the fast runners went down to the shore and they got shells and shiny pebbles and bits of sea glass. Some went out into the woods and got nuts and berries. And when the teacher came back on the Monday, the whole desk was covered with small shiny things. And he thought, how am I going to judge this competition? But when he looked up, there was an empty seat. Who's missing down there? Please, sir, it's wee Hugh. Hugh was the youngest of a big family. It took his mother a long time to get them all out for school. And he was the sort of wee boy that would have a school bag off one shoulder and the coat off the other, and he was always gawping and looking. Well, wait till he comes. The door opened. Up here, boy. Well? Sir? What did you bring for the table? Huh? The competition? He'd forgotten, as usual. He was always late. He always had a story. Well, what's wrong today? Why are you late today? And out from under his jacket, the wee boy brought a tiny bird. He said, sir, I found that in the lane. Can you fix it? Can you make it better? When the master looked down, he saw the wee bird was frozen. No life in it at all. He shook his head. He said, I'm sorry, Hugh, I can't help that wee bird. It's gone. It's dead. And the wee boy's lip trembled and a big tear rolled down his cheek and landed on the table, a round, salty tear. And just then the winter sunshine sparkled on that tear. He said, boys and girls, I have a winner for this competition. What Hugh brought us today is something really special. He's brought us a single tear of pity. And as long as you live, never be afraid, never be ashamed to shed a tear for any living creature. And that's how Hugh won the Silver Angel. I think he deserved it. Don't you?